into this whole situation, basically he comes in, he gets that underhook, he turns that corner, he gets the clinch here on me. From here, I'm, I'm in a bad spot. Anything that's on my waistline becomes accessible to him, okay? So I can't stay here. One of the things that I wanna do is, I wanna deal with the fact that this hand at any point could potentially punch me. I'm less worried about this one here in the back, like I'm up for a second. I'm less worried about this one because from here, I still have my arm up over the side, but I also have where his head is, okay? So from here, ideally, if I could keep him from clinching and locking up, that's where this hand would come in. And what I wanna be able to do is get this hand in and start making space off of that head. From here, you guys see how he pinned his knee against the wall. This comes from what we talked about two weeks ago. Come on, go over there. Like, scoot, step out. Because what I don't want, or what I would prefer to have, is I want to get here to where now I can drop in and I can reverse this position on him. But he pins that knee against the wall, which guarantees him the flank. I want to keep him from basically starting to clinch up. This hand comes in, it's a little hard to do with gloves on. But what I'm going to do is drop this inside the neck to get that head pressure off of my chin. From here, I only need to frame enough to get my elbow back inside. Now, because he has this leg on the outside, I can't, I'm going to have to turn back towards him. If he were off the wall, I would be doing this here and dropping into my position. That way I'm already set for the flank. And if I get this leg to the outside, he can't turn the corner and go to my back. But when he pinned this leg against the wall, I can't get this through anymore. So I'm gonna keep his hand from clenching, come to the inside here, frame, and now I'm gonna turn. I need to turn back to my opponent because the whole reason he took the flank was so that he can use one, two, three, four, technically five limbs against just two of mine. I have to get the same number of limbs pointed back at him. So I'm keeping his hand from clenching, coming to the inside, framing, elbow drops in. You do not need to push off and try and re-swim. That's just not gonna happen in reality. I need to frame, drop my elbow to the middle. Just drop your elbow to the inside, drop it through and turn back towards him, okay? From here, I can start working on either getting him off the wall or worst case scenario, dive through the other side. So, he pins me up against the wall. I'm keeping that hand from clenching. Hand comes to the inside, drop that elbow through, get your clinch, use your head for chin or for head control here. If I want to go to the other side, this is gonna dive through. I'm gonna abandon the grip, dive this through. And now from here, you'll see I've got the flank. Okay? So, everybody understand what we're doing? So, uh, here you go here. So we're here, he's in that long guard, I start coming in, boom. Frames, he collapses, okay, he drops, rolls the elbow through, ro rotates me into the wall. I'm keeping that hand here, from here, elbow inside, drive up and through. So if you're gonna tie it into the first position that we did two weeks ago, or some of you guys are just learning today, you, you can tie the whole thing into that. He collapses, he gets position, don't let him grip. Your, got, your job is to get elbows back to the inside. It's not just punches I'm worried about. It's not just sport I'm worried about. I'm worried about something being at the end of that hand, which means this area, which I could take some damage to, I need to get it to the central core of my body. Also, it's a lot harder for him to control me if he's clenching me around my arms. From here, it's nothing for me to roll through. It's nothing for me to start framing and dropping back in. It's a lot harder for him to control me here than if I let him get double underhooks here, okay? If he wants inside space on me, he's gonna have to earn it. You have to make him work for it, which means that once he gets it, boom, make sure your situation doesn't get worse. Get that grip, frame the head, drop the elbow through. If there's space, step off the wall a bit. If there's space, boom, just go right here. If there's not and he pinned his knee against the wall, you're gonna have to go to the other side. So here, this goes through, and now I'm flanking this leg, okay? 